Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we are going to create very simple character animation like this using movie clip symbol in Adobe Animate. A movie clip symbol in Adobe Animate uh, is a reusable animation that has its own timeline separate from main movie's timeline. A movie clip symbol uh, can be used as a container for an animation and movie clip symbol only play when you test your movie. Command return on Mac, control enter on PC. And also, movie clip symbols can be nested within other symbols as well. It's a pretty cool feature. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it, uh, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Now let's get started. Okay, so first please download these three uh, source files we're going to use. Uh, I made a link in my description. Um, so, and open, please open this uh, walking underscore monkey dot PSD, which is this file. Okay. And then make sure there are uh, 16 different layers. It's a kind of a sequence. Okay. Now, let me open Adobe Animate, new file create a new file um, the file size is going to be 1280 by 720 720 and 30 frame second and then a uh, platform type really doesn't matter HTML5 canvas or the um, um, action script 3.0 it doesn't matter anyway we're going to export as mp4 file so I'm um, create it and let me double click my hand tool so I can view the whole thing. Now, go back to Photoshop. Please choose the, your, the rectangular marquee tool, select all, and make sure you're selecting the very, very uh, bottom layer, layer one. So copy, command C, and back to Adobe Animate, and then we're gonna create in a movie clip symbol first. There are two different ways. The first one is go to insert menu, new symbol. And uh, you can choose the uh, type uh, movie clip. So, or in your library panel, open the library on the very bottom left corner. You see that little plus button. New symbol is the same thing. So, on type is a movie clip. I'm gonna rename this as the walking underscore oops monkey walking monkey movie clip. Okay. Now see this. We are in here, Walking Monkey Movie Clip Symbols Editing Window, and it has its own timeline. It is separate from this main timeline. Double click this from your library again. So now we are in Walking Monkey Movie Clip Symbol. Okay, so now remember that we made a copy of the first layer, paste it, Command V. Okay, now, in your timeline, you see this button. Do not click, just keep pressing. And you will see that blank keyframe. Hit the blank keyframe. So we have a new blank keyframe on frame number two. Now back to Photoshop. This time choose the layer number two. Copy. Back to animate and paste it. You see this? One and two. Okay. Now, insert another blank keyframe. Back to Photoshop. This time, choose the layer number three. Copy, Command C, and back to Adobe Animate, and paste it, Command V. So we have three sequences. One, two, three. And insert the blank keyframe. So this is a routine. Layer number four, copy, back to Animate, Paste it, Command V. Insert the blank keyframe. Back to Photoshop. Layer number five. Copy, Command C. Back to Animate. Command V, paste it. Insert the blank keyframe. So I'm going to fast forward this until I have the I uh, import all the 16 frames. Okay. So I imported all 16 uh, sequences. So let me play it. 
So it's a very simple walking motion. So now we are in still uh, movie clip symbols editing window and we're using 16 frames. Let me go back to my main timeline. There's nothing because uh, the animation character we made, it is the just the other part of this movie clip symbol. So what I'm gonna do is, let me choose this in, your, in, my, in my library panel and drag and drop. See? Now in my main timeline, I'm only using the one frame. And let me test the movie. Under control, test the movie in browser. Watch. It is walking because that movie clip symbol has its own timeline, 16 frame animation. Okay, now let me go back. Now I'm gonna rename this layer. Let me double click on it. Let me rename it as a monkey. Okay, now let me create a new layer. This is gonna be a background layer. So I'm gonna move it to the bottom and let me rename it as a BG number one. Then let me go to file, import to library. Let me import the jungle first. So jungle.jpg. Okay, so place it on the bottom layer. Set the position. Make it, let me make it slightly smaller. Let me make it slightly bigger. Just like that. Okay, then let me place my monkey on this line here. And let me test the movie, control test the movie. Or uh, if you're a Mac user, command return. If you're a PC user, control enter. You see that? Monkey is just kind of walking on the position. So uh, now I'm gonna uh, animate this mon little monkey. So what I'm gonna do is select your monkey and move it outside out of this stage like this. And then highlight the frame number 90, which is the three second mark. We're going to create a book and three second animation. Then on that frame number 90, make sure keep pressing this button, choose the keyframe, not the blank keyframe, keyframe. Okay. Now place your mouse cursor anywhere in between. Hold down the uh, control key or right click and create classic twin. And then on frame number 90, just to change the position location of this monkey from here, I'm gonna hold down the shift key so I can move it parallel like that. So he's moving, okay. And also I need to keep the, uh, my background image from here to there. This time I'm gonna choose just a frame. So let me play it. Watch. It is weird, isn't it? But uh, you have to test the movie, as I mentioned, to view the animation. So command return, test the movie. So monkey is walking across. Okay, so let me give some little more fun. Uh, when he reaches this rock, I want him uh, to jump over. So let me back to animate. Choose the monkey timeline and move this the time indicator here and there. So I'm um, see that I'm going to stop right before rock. And on that monkey timeline, let me insert keyframe. And also right after that rock, maybe somewhere here. Let me insert another keyframe. Then let me move this play hat time indicator here. Another keyframe in the middle. Then in this middle one, I'm gonna move him up. Just like that. It's too high, I don't know. 
So watch. Command return. See? Okay. And also, uh, it looks like a kind of a Donkey Kong, uh, the, the kind of 80s arcade game. Also, I want to rotate this little guy. So on the, the, the second keyframe, where the, um, uh, he starts jumping, Let's click on the frame, open the properties panel. I'm going to rotate him clockwise just once. So you can do this. Watch this. Test the movie. Ah, isn't it nice? Okay. Okay. Now let's try the second background. We're almost done. I'm going to create another new layer uh, on the bottom. This is going to be BG number two. Okay, and let me hide this. Let me import to the library the city.jpg. Uh, it is in your library, city.jpg. So uh, it goes there. Let me resize it a little bit. Not too much. Okay, looks good. And let me test. Oh, you know what? In Animate, you have to, even though you, hide, you are hiding it, you need to have this layer on top of that. So BG2 is the second layer now. Let me test the movie again. <laughs> it is working. Okay. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to save this file. Let me export as MP4 video files. And make sure before you export as MP4 file, make sure that your media encoder, this thing is open. Media encoder. It is very, very important. Okay, so now go back to file. I'm going to save it as um, walking monkey.fla okay so I'm gonna export twice one with the city background one with the jungle background so go to file export export video and media and make sure I'm exporting to my folder that looks good walking monkey I'm gonna save it as one Save it, export it. Take a look, my folder. Uh, it is still processed. Hey, watch. Okay, looks good. It is working. Okay, now I'm going to export with the jungle background. So let me switch to the other location of this background layer. So PG1, it's going to be second layer. This guy, go to file, export, video and media. This time, same location, but uh, I'm going to save it as a walking monkey number two. Save it and export. Let's watch. There we go. Let me play. Jungle background. Okay. Again. All right. So that's it. I uh, I hope that you enjoy this video and you can use it for your the future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.